do a little Bible devotional this morning. Let's do a little reading out of John chapter 3. Now let's just see where this gets us. I'm going to be reading out of my scripture and where I've taken notes all throughout mine. So we might go a little all over the place this morning. But let's search the scriptures for Yeshua. John chapter 3. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Yeshua by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from Yah. For no one can do signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yah. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again, that wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, I'm sorry, Jesus answered and said to him, Are you not a teacher of Israel and do not know these things? you're not a teacher of Israel and do not know the scriptures what scripture would Yeshua be talking about right there we hear that get quoted a lot in the Torah movement the messianic movement but and I think a lot of people are really quoting that wrong just to be honest with you but let's go back he is actually referring to Jeremiah chapter 31 let's read that this is what he's talking about to Nicodemus here don't twist that up behold the days are coming says the Lord when I will make a new covenant because the new covenant what the new covenant was sitting right in front of Nicodemus I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant, which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord, but this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their minds. That's the spirit. That's Yeshua. Except in Yeshua. I will put my law in their minds and write them on their hearts and will be their God, and they will be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin, and will remember no more. That's what he's referring to, talking about to Nicodemus. They'll, they'll know who the Lord is because he sent his son. He came down in flesh and died for us. And that's the new covenant. The spirit dwelling in us, making us want to do better, making us want to be obedient, making us turn away from sin. Come on now, let's don't stop there. Here, listen, here I got notes here. Let's go through some notes. Let's go to Matthew 26, 28 for... A little confirmation of what I'm talking about. Here, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many of the remissions of their sins. What's old Mark have to say about that? Let's go to Mark chapter 14, 24. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Let's get another third witness of it. Luke chapter 22, 
20. See, you can't get away from Jesus, people. You can't get away from Yeshua. He's your only hope. He's, you, you're not getting into the kingdom without Yeshua. Period. Sorry. Ain't happening. You start denying him. I just, I feel bad for you. Let's put it that way. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for many. We're here, guys. We're, we're here in the new covenant. I can go confirmation after confirmation through all these. 1 Corinthians 11, 25. For 2 uh, Corinthians 3, 6. Hebrew. Read Hebrews. My goodness. If you don't understand Hebrews, that, that, that we're, in, we're in the new covenant. Mercy sakes. Hebrews 8, 6 through 13. Hebrews 9, 15. Hebrews 10, 16 through 17. Hebrews 12, 24. Hebrews 13, 20. See, there's a lot of people in this movement right now that's trying to, to deny Yeshua. And that comes from following false teachers. Read your Bible for just what it is. Quit looking to man. Quit looking to these men. Be, let's just be careful. Let me just put it that way. Because they will fail you. You will take teachers and put them on a pedestal. I'm living proof of this. When I was younger, I took men that was in the church and put them above, put their teachings and put what they said above God. And boy, was I crushed. Because man will fail you. Look in the past year, and trust me, there's many more that's coming because there is a great falling away coming. Um, with Tony Evans, uh, the other guy that messed around with a 12-year-old girl. Don't follow. I don't follow any of these guys, but I know they've had to have a lot of followings, and there's a lot of people hurt, and there's a lot of people that's going to use that reason to turn away. And there's some in this messianic movement. You better be careful who you're following, because if you knew what went on behind closed doors, you would be devastated. You would be crushed. There's some right up the road from us that are claiming to be a ministry and in a movement and if you go to their following you go on to the social media stuff have admitted to people to bind their followers bind their platform and they're real real popular but behind closed doors you'd be amazed at some of the things that go on know that for a fact Don't put men above your Savior. I've said this many times. You're going to be alone on Judgment Day. You will be judged. And you will be judged by Yeshua. So people trying to deny, to deny Yeshua. Who do you think is coming back in Revelation? It's your Messiah. That's your Savior. You better get in line and follow Him and quit listening to all these people on social media that's leading you astray. Get your foundation right, people. Now's not the time to be straying.